Shark Game here, coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com, offer of Love Can Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. So, in this video, I want to talk about why you should not seek to be friends with women. Why you shouldn't seek to be friends with women. And before, P.S. My way, before I get into that, you can follow me on Instagram at Sharp Game. And you can follow my Patreon also. That's patreon.com forward slash sharp game. As a matter of fact, I'll put that in the uh, chat box. You can follow me. Uh, yeah. You can follow me here on social media. Yeah. So. Now, I got this question a couple of days ago. And there was this guy that he was trying to, he was seeking, he was trying to be friends with a woman just so he can get some backdoor sex, basically. So his, his whole idea was he figures if he can be friends with a woman, and eventually he'll he'll be able to win her over by being friends with her and he can slide through the back door. It's like kinda like backdoor sex. And I was like, yo, well, why do you want to be friends with women? Why? <laughs> What's I mean, why do you you don't have to be friends with a woman just because you want to have sex with her? That's kind of that's kind of lame. It's kind of uh, that's kind of that kind of don't make any sense. <laughs> they really don't because I told the dude when I said, "Look, if you try and be friends with a woman first, you're probably not gonna have sex with her." Probably not gonna happen. It's gonna take an act of God to get you out of that friend zone from her. It's probably not gonna happen. Now, conventional wisdom tells us that you should get to know a woman first, then you be friends with her, then you get to know her much more. Spend more time with her, and then you take the next step up the ladder. You get into a relationship with her, and then you have sex. And then if you make it, then after y'all be in a relationship for a couple of years, then you progress to marriage. And that's what conventional wisdom tells us. But in reality, I, I haven't seen it happen like that very often. It does happen, but not very often. <laughs> it, hasn't ha it hasn't even happened to me very often. Most of the time when I meet a woman, it usually goes like this. We meet, we, you know, we change phone numbers at some point. I might see him more than one time, but what, whatever the case is, we meet, we exchange phone numbers, we, I call her, or she calls me, vice versa, whatever. Then we set a date, or meet up time, or whatever. We meet up, we talk the first time, then if it's a good vibe, we say, okay, you know, 
We'll see you the next time. You know, if it doesn't go well, I kick rocks. See you later. But assuming that it goes well, meet up, meet up with you the second time. We're gonna progress or follow up. Always following up to the next thing, basically. But the get the destination is the score, baby. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> So by the time I'm by the, by the time, uh, in most case, on average, this is not absolute, but by the time I get to that third or fourth meetup, I'm smashing. <laughs> Touchdown, baby! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so I don't, I don't. When I meet women, my goal is not to be friends. I already have enough friends already. What do I need more friends for? And the friends that now, let me be clear. I do have female friends. I do. But the reason why they're my friends is because I wanted them to be my friends. Not because I had to. Not because they put me in the friend zone. I put them in the friend zone. <laughs> you get it? I put them in the friend zone. And the reason why I put them in the friend zone, because after I got to know them just a little bit in the beginning stages of us meeting and spending time with each other and talking, I realized that we cannot be together. We cannot coexist in the same space in an intimate close relationship not some people are just not some people should not be together in a sexual relationship or in a sexual way it just ain't gonna work with some people so i figured out early that okay we ain't gonna make it down that line because number one Maybe they might be too emotional. Maybe they have too much baggage. Whatever the case is. So at the next step is maybe we can do some business together. You dig? Maybe we can do some business together. So I look at it from that point of view. I say, hey, wait a minute. Now she's a, she ain't a dumb woman. She's smart. You got some intelligence. Maybe we can do some business together one day. So that's why I'm friends with certain, a small group. I don't have a lot of friends anyway. But a small group of women are less than five. I'm friends with. And that's because I, I, I could help them with something or vice versa. That's why I'm friends with them. But I don't come through the door trying to be friends with them to get some backdoor sex. No. <clears throat> Who has time for that shit? That's kind of lame. You know? Oh, yo, Apple Mac. My website, you can send me the email now. You can send me the email now. It took me 10 minutes to figure that shit out. That shit was easy. But I can get emails now. So yeah, that's my um you know, that's my my that's how I get down. You know. I don't know about this one. Uh, my best friend is a woman. No, I'm not saying <laughs> No, I'm not saying that you can't be friends with a woman at Mac. I got women that are friends too. But I'm just saying the reason why we're friends is because I wanted to be, I wanted her to be my friend. But it didn't, I didn't come through the door like that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> OJ Sims, OJ in the house. God damn it. The juice is loose. <laughs> Good evening. Where the white women at? The oh, the juice is loose, baby. Are you the real OJ or are you an imposter? Which one is it? <laughs> That was bullshit. <clears throat> I don't have female friends anymore. 
If we are not intimate, I value my attention and time way too much. Yeah, a lot of women are just time wasters. So I get that. Ever want to have sex with her? Yeah, exactly. Apple Mac, I agree. OJ, the juice is loose, baby. Go vegan. I have a friend, but we really know each other like the back of our hand. Okay. Yeah, see, I mean, it's this. Now, there's some women that I've gotten to know. I just take, like, like, you know, I'm in my 40s now. So let's take a girl that's 28. 28, 25. Uh, there's probably nothing that she can tell me that there's nothing that can pro- that it's nothing that I can probably learn from a 25 year old. So why would I want to be friends with her? You know what I mean? It's like because I mean I have more life experience than a 25 year old. I mean, do I know everything? No, but. I mean, as far as just living life, it's probably not too much I could learn from her. That's going to blow my mind. That's going to make me think. Probably not going to be like that. From a 21-year-old or 25-year-old, yeah, you know. But it could go the opposite. It could go. It could swing the other way. I'm in my 40s, and if I meet a woman that's 50, 55, 60, you know, they know something that I don't know. If she's 60, that has happened. Uh, you don't think one of the young girls can get you? No. <laughs> no. Can't happen. Not at this point, Apple Mac. No. Uh -uh. (laughs) Uh-uh. Nope. (laughs) Not at this point. No. (laughs) I've been out here too long, man. I've been out in these streets too long. Can't happen. But I have met older women that um, intrigue me. That um, uh, that turns me on. Yeah, that that's that's happened. Yeah, you know. But she's an older woman though. Go figure. The one thing about being around an older woman is most of them, you don't have to worry about them getting pregnant. Most, not all, most of them. And We ain't getting married. So it's either we're going to be fuck buddies or have some type of friendship. That's 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 the thing about older women. The old bras going to take them teeth out and gum this. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the funny thing is that when my, um, them, they, them dry up dusty bitches. Nah, I don't, nah. <laughs> no, man, I don't rock with them like that, man. Come on. <laughs> the the older women that I rock with, man, they don't look, they look younger. <laughs> Damn. 
They don't look their age. They take they took they taking care of themselves very well. Otherwise, I wouldn't be around them. <laughs> Damn, Fable <Pebble>, Mac. <laughs> and you hard on a bitch, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. So that's one advantage of being with older women. You already know what it is. You don't have to. They're not going to be playing all them games like that, like the younger women do. That's one advantage. The old brothers always want to know you have to cut their fucking corn off their feet. Uh, I don't. See, I don't fuck with them types. <laughs> hey, hey, Apple Man, the feet, the feet is the first thing I look at. The feet and the hands. The feet and the hands. The feet got her feet got to be on point. If if the feet ain't on point, it ain't gonna work, buddy. It ain't gonna work. So I just keep it moving, buddy. Can't do that. Feet got to be on point. That book, no book. That's real talk. <laughs> <laughs> <It'll tell. laughs> I can't do it, buddy. <laughs> I can't do it. But some people told me, <laughs> ain't nobody looking at the feet. It is shit. I'm not saying I'm looking at the feet first, but <laughs> Sean Johnson, what about coworkers? At the job, Oh man, I don't I don't even get close to people at the job, man. No, I don't even get close to people at the job. You know, um people at the job, I just look at them as associates. So you can call them your friend if you want, but I just call them associates. You know. But no, I don't look at the feet. The feet ain't the first thing I look at, but trust me, I'm going to be trying to look at the feet. Yeah, yeah, uh, what? Yeah, I don't try to get very close to people at the job. I've never wanted to. Um, see, I always look at it like this. I don't want to mix my honey with my money. So the pe so I'm the job is just the job, and this is my personal life outside the job. I just played it like that, and I've always played it like that. I look at face and maybe tit or ass. I don't even think about the feet. Damn, Apple Mac. No, Apple Mac. I look at the face, tit, face, tits, and ass immediately. Immediately. And then I'm going to look down eventually. <laughs> That's how I roll. I'm going to look down. <laughs> I ain't fucking up. I ain't me. Hey, you might have to rub a feet. I ain't saying <laughs> your foot, your foot man. You might a lot of them dudes put foot in their mouth. Guys got foot fetishes out here. I ain't got no foot fetish, but you know, got foot. A woman got foot like Oprah around this motherfucker. <laughs> you seen Oprah's feet? <laughs> and color purple. <laughs> I like when women, what? I like when women fart. What the hell are you talking about, man? <laughs> you a white dude? You sound like a white dude and with that, that type of language. You like when women fart. Sasquatch feet. Yeah. I, uh man, you know, I just don't like them hands. The the feet, man, I'm telling you, man. You know, my mom told me, Apple Mac, that if a woman's feet is nice, her body's the rest of her body's probably gonna be nice too. She told me that shit when I was a teenager, man. 
And I always remember that shit. Do women really want to be friends or just using you for attention? If a woman doesn't want to have sex with you, she'll put you in the friend zone. Period. And if she hangs around you, and if she knows she don't want to have sex with you, she just wants attention. That's how it goes. So a woman will use you for your attention. If she don't want to have sex with you, she'll go to dinner with you and go to the basketball game, football game, all that shit. And don't want to have nothing to do with you sexually. I've seen it happen hundreds of times. So that happens. You talking that shit about Oprah. I bet you would let the shit out of Oprah's feet if you... Nah, I'm not attracted to Oprah. I ain't attracted to Oprah, Apple Mac. So nah, that wouldn't happen. I ain't attracted to Oprah. So that that wouldn't even uh, be something that I would even entertain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like Oprah too, as a you know, as a person or her, you know, I guess her network show or whatever. But you know, I don't agree with everything she says, though. I mean, a lot of that shit Oprah be saying, I'd be like, except Gail. Well, you know, say Oprah's a lesbian. And that was a rumor that was going around for a long time. You know? So, but you know what? Gail, she's okay. I'm attracted to her. <laughs> I'm attracted to Gail, but not Oprah. <laughs> yeah, I'm attracted to the Gail, not Oprah. I know, man. Plus, Oprah, she's an old lady now. She's 60 what? How old Oprah is? 62, 64, something like that? How old is she? I told a woman that I'm on the DR. And she kind of got upset, but she had no interest. It seemed like women just want to see you. They want to see you miserable. Why do you think she wanted to see you miserable? That that woman that uh you told you was going to de- she was just jealous. That was more jealousy. You wearing the red bottoms. She was wearing red bottoms. You love black women. I love black women too. Now that woman uh Rayshawn, that chick, she probably was just jealous. I guess he mean D- Dominican Republic. Apple Mac, when he said DR, that's Dominican Republic. A lot of times, you know, women are very competitive. So you got to keep that in mind. So a lot of times it's just jealousy, you know. But she know when you go to the, the, to the DR, you, she know you probably more than likely you're going to smash. That's, so that's all that is. It's what she was thinking inside of her head. Because most people, when they think of the Dominican Republic, they thinking them dudes going over there to smash, which is true. In most cases. So that's what it is, you know. So, hey, Rashawn, what was, did you smash, are you smashing that girl? Did you smash that girl before you went to the DR? Probably not. <laughs> Think about it, and why girl ain't got no man? And she ain't got no man? I didn't know that. Well, she probably a lesbian too then. They're both lesbians. No? Well, that's why. She, you know, she, ain't, she don't want to fuck with you, and she don't want nobody else to fuck with you. It's the jealousy. 
That's that jealousy bullshit. So you just gotta um I don't even buy I don't even pay too much attention to that shit. I just uh I just keep it moving. And see, in a situation like that, Rayshawn, I wouldn't even fuck with her no more. If she playing that game, I wouldn't fuck with her no more. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's just a waste of time. You know, most women you meet, they're just time wasters. In most cases. Let's see, and, and it's the reason why most women you meet are time wasters because most guys, they're fucking with girls that's that that that's really not into them. So it's like you gotta rock with the women that's that want to rock with you. And most of these girls, you're gonna be attracted to. Probably not all, but the majority. You know, is that dick in the glass case? Shit. What? What you talking about, Apple man? Uh, is it just American women? Because a lot of people I know that go, oh, see, he doesn't have this problem. I remember that Chris Rock joke. Oh, man, Chris Rock got so many jokes, bro. I can't remember all that shit. <laughs> I've been well, watching Chris Rock for a long time. I can't remember all that shit. This American women. Uh, no, Rayshon, women are jealous everywhere. It ain't just an American thing. The, the other groups of women around the world, they're just good at hiding it, that's all. That's the only difference. That's just a competitive nature of women. That's all it is. I don't really make too much of it. Really don't, really. Because at the end of the day, either they're in or they out. Either they're going to hang around you or they're not. My game, my life, my show. That's it. <laughs> I didn't realize so many guys had women problems. I didn't even have them, man. Shit. I didn't realize it either, man. Until I came, until I started doing videos online. <clears throat> until I started a, a blog. That's when I realized that a lot of people have a lot of problems. And I can see why. Because I used to make a lot of mistakes too. But I didn't have anybody to um, talk to about it. Because I was by myself most of the time. So I was learning through trial and error. Which is the hardest way to learn something. Trial and error. Whew, that's the most painful way to learn. Oh, man. That shit is painful, man. Damn. Cause like the first, the the two the two paperback books that I bought that I wrote, those are the books that I wish I had twenty years ago. Basically, that's the crazy thing. I wish I had these two books twenty years ago. Otherwise, I wouldn't have them. I probably would have been better off today. Much better off today, you know, much further ahead, no doubt about it. I probably would have had a much better circle of people around me today. But hey, man, you live and learn, you know. That's what it is, man. I 
That probably would have been, um, you know, tell him where I would have been at. You know, tell him. Ain't no telling. Shit. Maybe I would have um, been on a different course. If I didn't, if I had somebody there to talk to at every given turn or at, or at every, every given point, who knows? Maybe I wouldn't have been on the internet doing this. Who knows? Check this, uh, this lady that liked me at work. Keep asking me to come to her house. Keep asking me to hang out. She even asking me for years. She told me, I say, we friends, but we never hang out. So I told her that we would hang out and watch the game Saturday. And what'd she say? I know somebody that's like that too, right now. She's been trying to get with me for years. I keep turning it down. <laughs> now I only want to watch the game. Nothing else. <laughs> Damn, man. Well, she don't look this she don't look that good or what? She said <laughs> oh, what? You're not attracted to her, Apple Mac? <laughs> Oh, she's okay or what? What's up with her? Everybody hit the thumbs up button. Thumbs up. Let me see the thumbs up, baby. Is she bad? She bad. 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 That ass. That ass. That ass. That ass. She bad. Y'all heard that song on uh uh God damn it. <laughs> What's the girl name? <laughs> God damn. Man, I ain't got time for that shit. What? You got time for what? <laughs> what you wanna do with it? That's what I'm trying to you wanna watch TV with her or what? <laughs> She bad? She bad. She bad. She bad. Cardi B. Yeah. Cardi B got a song like that. She bad. She bad. <laughs> Mostly she off the fucking chain. Drama. Oh, you got drama. Oh, nah. Nah, fuck that. I feel you, man. She got drama. I mean, I'll get it. I don't even want to be around no woman like that at this point. You know, <laughs> she got people with drama. Yeah, I know what you mean. They, 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 she don't have drama with you. She just got drama in her life, surrounding her life. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I don't, I just don't deal, I don't deal with them types. I keep them at a distance. I mean, they might, I might talk to them every once in a while on the phone, but you know, you can't, I don't let them get close to me no more. And you don't want to fuck them because you just don't know how it's going to go <laughs> afterward. You're not hanging out tonight with the beautiful women in Atlanta. Uh, no, I did that. I did that last night. I can't do two nights back to back. She keeps telling me about her boyfriend, but talks to me more than him. What? Whoa. She keeps telling me about her boy. Why do you keep talking to her? You keep talking to her on the phone, I bet you. And why? And she told she can't hold water. Well, of course she can't hold water. That's why she got drama in her life. That's, 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 that's part of the problem.
That's part of the problem with most drama queens. They talk too goddamn much. I'm getting out. Can't do too much. Now I can't do two nights in a row. Fuck that shit, man. Yeah, why are you doing that shit? Are you you trying you thinking you're gonna smash one day or what? I mean, what's the What's your payoff? I'm like Dr. Phil. What's your payoff? <laughs> what's your payoff? <laughs> where did you go? Wait that no, I'm not gonna tell you where I went now. Come on, cut it out. You know. You live here in Atlanta? I'm a clown. Oh, you <laughs> don't clown me. <laughs> yeah, I can't do two nights straight, bro. No way. Shit. Plus, I me, mean, I was I was writing. I'm writing my next book. I was working on that tonight. So that's the main reason why I didn't I didn't go anywhere. I got shit to do. You did. I've been there seven years. Why'd you leave? A lot of people leave here. <laughs> and a lot of people should leave here. Why did you leave? I, w- I want to hear your answer. Everyone has their own reason for leaving here. It's the, and it's the right thing to do. Get the hell up out of here while you, while you still can. But it doesn't matter. It's about how you making her feel, emotions feel. Uh, looks doesn't matter for who. Rashawn, who? Looks that doesn't matter for you or her. Instead of some cracking back. The young girl be cracking his back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Looks doesn't matter for the man. Shit. I don't know about that. Looks matters to me. Anybody that says looks don't matter, they full of shit, in my opinion. I fuck this vibe on interstate need to leave. Yeah, it's too many people around there. Anybody that says looks don't matter, they they they're being dishonest. In my you know, that I, I, I just don't believe that shit. That's you know I just think people being dishonest. I think a lot of women just say things because it sounds good. Yeah, if looks don't matter, I mean, when you see somebody for the first time, well, you can't see them. I mean, this is all we got initially when you meet somebody. You looking at her, she, he's looking at you. So once you start talking, okay, that's different. But initially, looks does matter. That's all we got. I think. Too many suits and one looks for, I think. Uh, looks. Hell yeah, looks matter. To, looks matter to a lot of women. The way you dress matters to a lot of women. The way you talk matters to a lot of women. Your hair style matters to a lot of women. The way you present yourself, all that shit. And the funny thing is, women that say looks don't matter, once you get to know them better, they, then they start telling you they want to change you. So looks does matter to them. So just like I said, I think it's like a lot of women are just being dishonest. They're saying what sounds good. I didn't have any issues there. My kids are young at the time. I came back to be close to them. The way your pocket look matter. The way your pocket does money matter? Money does matter. Especially here in this area. 
Especially in this area. <laughs> Why does the man have to do all the work? The, guy, the man don't got to do all the work. Damn, girl. That nigga pocket. Fine. It's attack on men, period. Attack on what men, period? Just across the board? White dynasty. He must be a white guy. Yeah, I think it's on... Okay. So I think it's a attack on men in society. Oh, no doubt about it. You know? Attack on... Uh, Especially masculine men. You know, they, they pretty much want to, um, they want to turn all masculine men into beta guys. So, yeah, I, I agree with that. If that's what you're getting at, white dynasty. I agree with that 100%. You have to approach her. You have to take her out. Uh, you don't always have to approach, but most of the time you do. But um, most women are not going to approach a guy. That's just what it is. And you don't gotta. You don't have to always take her out, bro. You know, you can just meet at a bar and grill. You know, taking a woman out. That's for like. If you're seriously dating a girl or you're like if she's earned your respect, some shit like that. But if that's not the case, I mean taking a woman out and all that shit in the early stages, I just don't think it's a good idea. He might not even like this chick. So I'm like, I'm not doing all that shit. <laughs> I'm not doing all that shit. You shouldn't do it. Like you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't play that game. Like the first date, the first time you meet up with a woman, it shouldn't be at a restaurant, bro. It should be at a place where maybe a bar and grill, some place where you can exit real quick if it goes bad. But if you're gonna be stuck at the dinner table with a plate full of food and the conversation is going down the tube. You don't want to be in a, in a position like that. Have you ever saw that movie, The Crying Game? Uh, yeah, I saw The Crying Game a long time ago, man. I don't even remember what that shit was about. You might not get no put. Well, yeah, you might not. Well, first off, a woman, ain't, she ain't obligated to get, give you no pussy anyway. So you might not get none. Just because you take a woman out to dinner, that don't mean she obligated to drop the drawers, drop those panties. That's just what it is. We're having an easy, if you take control, a lot of us have that fear. The most a chick can say is no. You're right about that, White Dynasty. You're right about that. I mean, it's like, the reason why I mean, guys put the pussy on the pedestal too much. That's part of the reason why they they have, you know, rejection problems. You know, they have problems approaching women. They have problems talking to women. They have problems going for the sex. You know, they put the woman on the pedestal. They act like she's special because she, I don't know. Because she got a vagina and some tits, you know? And all of us get caught up in that trap at some point, you know? Most of most guys don't get out of that trap, but uh, some guys that get out of that trap, out of that mindset of putting one woman on a pedestal because she's beautiful and all this shit, you know? But no woman is different than any other woman. Well, they're not special because, okay, yeah, she got nice tits, nice ass. Another woman got that too. If she got curly hair, you know, another woman got that too. Her hair dyed this color, another woman got that too. So it's no, 
I mean, women, they're not special. They might have a different personality. Okay. You know. But the physical aspect of a woman, it's not really special. You know. It doesn't even last long. Most women are not aging very well in this day and time. They don't, they don't even last that long. As much as they used to. It's unfortunate, but true. Ain't nothing wrong with taking her out now and later. I got five whole packs. <laughs> oh, God. Five women have inflated eagles. Eagles are way too high. They feel like God. Yeah, women, look, women cannot take rejection. <sighs> oh, my God. They have little big problems. Job. Yeah, women cannot take rejection. Oh, hell no. Ooh, wee. Boy, they can't, they do not like that shit, boy. Uh uh. Man, I had a woman, a uh, couple, this is a couple weeks ago, was arguing with, she was trying to argue with me about me not wanting to buy her a drink. <laughs> this is the craziest shit ever. She was trying to argue with me. I mean, I didn't know her name. I didn't know this chick from a can of paint. I was just like sitting down. Just, I think I was on my phone and I had a beer and I was you know, just drinking my beer on my phone. And she just walked up to me she walked beside me, and I looked up, and she looked me in my eye. So I said, hey, hey, how you doing, whatever. And then I went back on my phone, and she was like, hey, buy me a drink. I said, what? I said, no. <laughs> and she was like, why not? I said, I don't know you. You just walked up to me all of a sudden. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I've never seen you before. I don't know your name. I don't know anything about you. And she's like, why? <laughs> so she's trying to argue. I'm like, yo. So I just, I, I walked off. You know, I thought that was the craziest shit. And then I had another woman months ago that I told her I didn't want to talk to her. Like, at least not in the way she wanted to anyway. And she was like, why are you not attracted to me? I said, well, not really. And she was like, why are you not attracted to me? I said, I'm just not. I said, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, that, women do not like rejection. They don't, man. They take that shit serious most of the time. My, way serious than guys do. Terry Crews tried to holler me too, and they told him, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you black ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said, my man, the producer grabbed him, grabbed him by the balls in front of his wife. I heard about that. <laughs> so, is, is it because of social media that makes them feel like they shit don't stink? Nah, women were like that before uh, social media, Rachel. I think social media just don't so all social media did, man, it just gave women more ways to get attention. That's all. That's all it did. It had more ways to get attention. That's all it did, really. I met a girl recently. I told her to come in the bar to hang out. She said no. First dates. She like ain't too much shut in. And chivalry from man that she didn't to know. On the first date, she want to go. Where she want to go at the first date? I'm not going to a restaurant for the first date because it could go bad. I might not like you, and I, I I've done it before, so that's how I know. It's just a bad idea, you know. <laughs> 
I just don't want to take. I don't want to take the chance. So I don't. I don't do that shit no more. And plus, that tells you a lot about her. That tells you a lot about her if she says that. That tells you a lot about her if she if she says something like that. She don't like going to a bar on a first date or meeting up on a first. It ain't got to be a a, a a a a date. It can be just let's just hang out, let's just meet up and chit chat for a minute. That tells you a lot about her. So I wouldn't even fuck with her like that. <laughs> Sit down, rest while I don't know. No, it's not. I mean, you want to go somewhere where you can talk. That's the idea. You don't want to go to a place like a club or some place where it's loud, where you can't, you have to yell and shit. You know? <clears throat> yeah, you can talk in the bedroom, no doubt about it. You can, you know, most women. See the idea. This is the idea is you want to meet her at the bar and grill or some place like that's not that's not at the restaurant. Cause see, after the first time I meet her, I'm trying to bring her back to the house. That's how I roll. I try to bring her back to the house or go back to her house, whichever is closer. You know, now, if you ask a woman to come to your house and you just got the phone number like yesterday, she probably ain't going to come over here. That's highly unlikely. Uh, unless y'all had a hell of a conversation over the telephone. Unless she's, yeah, but I'm just saying it could happen. But it's highly unlikely. No, not 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 in the beginning. No. I'm talking about now. I have done that shit. I've done that shit in the past. And I learned my lesson. But today, you know, I take my time today. Let's, uh... But I know some guys get down like that. But the whole idea is if you want to smash, you're not trying to be friends, meet her at, you know, just meet up with her like a little bar, bar and grill, something like that. And you, you basically want to test the temperature. See if you like her. See if she's feeling you. But you don't want to be sitting down at the table doing that shit. With a plate full of food. Have you ever picked up a chick and it turned out to be a dude? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. No, that evil boy genius. Are you talking? Are you talking about an identity where you left out the back door? Oh, uh, she got hit the bill. No, no, I never, uh, no, I never, no, I never done that before, Evil Boy Genius. No, that never happened to me before, I've met. To me, it's best that a man should save it. 
There's resources and go overseas to find that real woman like you want. Go overseas? For what? What you gonna get when you go overseas? And where you going? And why do you think overseas women are better? Or better quality? Why do you think that? I heard you say you left her. And your friend told you not to do that. No, but no, no, you talking about um when uh I left a woman that I met up with, but I didn't leave her with the bill. I only had one beer. I didn't leave her with a bill. I just I was drinking my beer, which I paid for up front, and I sat down first, and she came in, and she came in with an attitude. She was upset about something. Maybe she was on, got a phone call or whatever. I don't know what the fuck was going on. But she said she was in a bad mood. That's came up. That's what she said. So I'm like, if you're in a bad mood, you should stay in your ass home. You know, that, I said that in my head. So the conversation, there was just a bad vibe at the table. So I said, hey, hold on. I'm going to go to the restroom. So when I went to the restroom, I never went back to the table. I hauled ass. So, but I didn't leave her no no bill. I didn't know I didn't know shit. I ain't had no tab. I would never I would never leave a tab on a woman. I would never do that shit. That makes sense. She put it on to be more than she actually did. You and I um yeah, two or three more weeks. You get what? Yeah. Two two or three more weeks for what? Hey, I don't get a yet man city in Africa. Where in Africa? I mean, yeah, I mean, I know some guys that that do pretty well. Ghana, okay. Yeah, Ghana's pretty cool. I know some guys that do pretty well overseas, and I know some guys that have done. It went horrible. Went badly for them overseas. But the point is, it depends on who. The, it depends on the guy. It's really all about you. Ninety percent of the time, it's really all about you. Two or three more weeks before you make a mistake and pick up a train. No, that's never gonna happen to me. <laughs> yeah, I I know a woman when I see him. A cross dresser when I see him. That's never gonna happen to me. Yep. 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 Plus, where I live at, they not they don't live out here. Yep. Yeah, they do have some of them that look like women, but I remember going out, I'm going out to be in, to be in competition with women. Probably both. Some go out to get laid, and some go out. I mean, they competitive. They compete against other women all the time. I mean, you must have had you want. You better not bring you ass to the family. I married one. Yep. I heard about San Francisco a long time ago.
But even a even the uh, oh shit. Even the uh man, you know, uh, the beautiful the nah, even the best I've seen some of these cats, the cross dressers that look like just like a woman. I could tell that they used to be a man. I, I could tell. <laughs> I know a woman when I see him. You know? And now, you know, they, they a lot of these motherfuckers is taking pills. Now, shit is crazy out here, man. It's crazy. They're taking pills, man. Yeah, a lot of the Asian, yeah, yeah. Why don't I know that? I don't keep up with all that shit. Yeah, ring on the but man, off the street. I mean, that's not my lifestyle, so I don't really. It's not in my best interest to keep up with none of that shit. Oh, you talking about him? Okay, anybody can tell about white ones. Uh, no, no, Apple Mac. I've seen some, I've seen some Latin dudes too, man. I've seen whites, Latin dudes, blacks. But if you look at it, if you look at them long enough, you're going to be like, yo, something different about, <laughs> something different about that person. If you look at them long enough, you got to look at them in the face. See, if you look at the body, see, that might fool you. Now look at them in the face, directly in the face. It's like looking at a, a young girl. You look at a young girl in their face, even though they might be developed, their body might be developed, but if you look at a young girl in their face, you know she's young. It's that type of shit. Because, you know, a lot of them are having surgery, and, and they popping that pill... I don't even know what the fuck to pill for, but you know, I, I've I, I've heard about it. You know, shit. Yeah, that shit scary. Me. I don't know what I'll do. <gasps> well, hopefully they tell you who who they are and what type of surgery they had before. It go. It even goes that far. Yeah. Well, you got these. These um. It ain't got to be a training. It can be a damn. Uh. It can be a man that used to be no. It can be a, a man that used that turned into a woman, and they won't tell you shit. And unless you figure it out on your own, I've seen this shit happen to a guy. But some some of them tell you, then you got some of them that don't say shit. Happened to a guy when I was in the Navy. And they don't say. Most of them don't say shit. They don't. If she's not fucking, then I guess you can't be friends, right? Well, look. I mean, why do you want to be friends with this woman anyway? That's 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 a question you have to ask. What is she bringing to the table that you want to be friends with her? What's the purpose of you being friends with her? You can only answer that. That's why you gotta grab them in the pussy. But shit, no, that that don't mean shit. Sometimes she might have had the surgery, White Dynasty, or he might have had the surgery, White Dynasty. So you wouldn't really, you can grab, you might be grabbing on the right thing, but, you know, that thing that you grab on used to be a dick, but now it's a clip. <laughs> you find out because they all wear this weird ass underwear. What kind of underwear they wear? Have a Mac. Splash, what up? <clears throat> What kind of underwear they wear? 
I'm like, <laughs> shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, white dance. You know they don't. You know they 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 got all type of plastic surgery out here now. That, that high tech shit. My women say, "Let's be friends." What do you say? Well, they don't say "Let's be friends" to me. They don't say that to me. <laughs> shit. Now, I haven't had a woman say that like ever. Say that to me, really? Like never. Is this heavy? You know, uh, we talk. Uh, Nick, I'm going to ask. This is heavy padded underwear to hide in that neck. No, it's. No, uh, you, uh, you silly man. Why would you want to be friends with a woman you are uh, sexually attracted to? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Splash, the chip don't make no sense. It don't. I mean, you don't have to be aggressive all the time. You don't. Know, it's not really about being aggressive. It's just about how you talking to her. What are you saying when you talk to her? If you're acting like one of her girlfriends, you trying to go shopping with her or some shit like that, or, or if you're on the telephone. Gossiping with her, that that usually do it too. She start looking at you like you wanted the girls. Yeah, you can let man. Let me tell you something, man. You can learn. A lot from prostitutes and hoes and escorts. They tell you the real deal out here. I'm telling you. I think I, I learned a lot from them from them women. They they tell you the real deal, man. Out here. And I learned this shit when I was 18, 19. I was like green, naive. Yeah. Exactly, that's street smart. Yeah, you you can learn a lot from these women, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, they do. They be knowing shit that guys don't know. The average guy don't know in most cases. Some shit, some guys just can't take. There's a lot of guys out there like that too. They can't. They can't handle the truth. Yeah. Why do you have to be mentally strong when messing with their business is to run game on men? Well, yeah, they, well, they pretty much, to a certain extent, they have to run a game on a guy. You know, um, really, that's just what it is. 
They're trying to finesse. They're trying to get as much money as they can get out of the guy. So I get it. They're trying to finesse the relationship. But for a certain amount of time, you know, unless it's, you know, a long-term customer. <laughs> Me love you a long time. Me love you a long time. Well, it's kind of like they they want the guy to sell themselves. That's the whole idea. Yeah, regulars. Yeah, you can call them that. Yeah, that's the whole idea. Though you get people to sell themselves on you instead of you try instead of you trying to convince them to do shit. You know, they say people love to buy, but they don't like being sold. So you want you so you gotta change it, you gotta reverse the game. You gotta get people to sell themselves on what you have to have, on what you have to offer. Yeah. Yeah, I would think I mean, the regulars would be a, a good deal. I think regulars, I like regulars, bro. I like regular, the same women. Like, like when it comes to me, right? I, I basically fuck with the same, I have sex with the same women. I've been having sex with the same women for the past 5, 10, 15 years. Yeah. I don't really change. I don't add a lot of women in very often. Maybe one, maybe two. But for the most part, I'm consistently sleeping with the same women. Yeah. That's that's how I do it. I'm not saying everybody should do that shit, but that's how I do it. You know, I don't change sexual partners very much. I, I don't. Regularly, I don't have a dream. I can't dream. Yeah. That's my dream, too. <laughs> I like regular. I like regular. I just like steady, you know, stick to that starting five. Uh, yeah. Five is good. I need all change. Uh, uh, high mileage. No, no, not the women I uh. Yeah, maybe two of them have high mileage, but uh, the rest of them, nah, not so much. They be too busy. A lot of them, they be too busy for, you know, you know, really, you know. I mean, a lot of them girls that's in the 20s, oh, my God. Yo, they be, the girls in the 20s, boy, they, they be, they be getting it in in the 20s. <laughs> God damn. In the 20s and in the early 30s? Oh my goodness. Even if you have a girl, should you still have a starting five? I don't know. That's on you, Rayshawn. Can you handle it? It depends on the guy. Can you handle five? Five, six women? Some guys can barely handle one woman. So it depends on the guy. I think our model matters. What matters is how we got to our models. Yeah, I, I see it like that too. 
Apple Mac. I don't, um, yeah, I don't necessarily, um, I don't really, that don't really bother me. You know, it, 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 it's, I just want to know what happened. I'm that type of person. I'm a detail oriented person. I like to know what happened. I'm just not a just cut and dry type guy. You know, I'm not like that. I don't, I don't I think there's some people that's like that, but I'm not like that. It's always new cars out there. Who cares about my <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's always new cards. But see that, see White Dynasty. I don't like changing cards very often. You know, I don't like changing very often because if you upgrade the car, it might not be that safe. Yeah, it did. Yeah. I tried to handle like four back in the day and drop almost everybody. Within a month, that shit was too much. You ever ever on the car, bro? Yeah, I own a couple of cars. I mean, it depends on your how much time you have, Apple Mac. That, that, that's that's one reason why I stick with the same. I consistently stick with the same women because they already know what I'm about. So they know I don't have a lot of time. Now, if you meet somebody brand new, shit, you got to start all over again. And they're not going to understand where you're coming from. And and that shit probably ain't going to work with me. Because I'm not going to go out of my way to stop what I'm doing to make time for you. Oh, hell no. Shit. <laughs> Every man has time to that girl. At least in, with the option to buy. Yeah. That's a good way to say it. That's a good, you know. That's basically how it is. But I'm not going, a woman is not going to be the center of my life. You know? A woman is not going to be the center of my life. She's not going to be like, her, my life is not going to be revolving around her. That's not happening. If that's the case, she got to go. And I've never had a relationship like that, where the woman was the center of, of my life. I can't go without her. She's like, my livelihood. I'm like, I've never had a relationship like that. I never seen. I've never looked at it like that. That's just crazy. So I'm supposed to drop what I'm doing and just be with her, serve her. So now I'm supposed to be. Now I'm the submissive man. That's a crazy. That's just crazy. And then when the shit don't work out which most of the time it doesn't. And she's going to leave your ass for a guy that she's going to be submissive to. And you're going to be paying child support and alimony. And now you're wiped out. And you don't even, the, and all the, and, and you only have a job, one income. And once they take the child support every month from you, you don't even have enough money to live off that shit at your one job. Come on, man. It don't make sense. What kind of fool is you? <laughs> what kind of fool is you? Back to what I said again. It's always new cars. Yeah. You know, if you want to keep changing, yeah. But I don't got time to keep changing. But, you know, every guy has to do what works for them. Let's see what, what it's called. I don't even know if it's called pussy whip all the time. 
Ray Trump. I ain't think I don't even think that's what it is. I think it's uh it's, it's some guy just drunk the Kool-Aid. This type of brainwashing. It starts early. So what is your ideal age for one? My ideal age? I don't have one. I don't have an ideal age. I just prefer um I don't have an ideal age, but you know, it really uh a lot of time it just depends. Depends on the woman. Too many bitches uh, to be sipping over. Ray Sean, you need to tell a lot of guys that. It's a lot of fishes in the sea. In the sea, in the sea, in the sea. A lot of guys don't understand that. Obviously. But, you know, in this society, guys are conditioned to be tricks, simps, and wimps. And women are conditioned to be passive, aggressive hoes. Think about that. Would I date, seriously date an Asian woman in America? Hell no. <laughs> what for? I mean, look, I'm not going to say I would never do it, but it really depends, Apple Mac. Oh, seriously date her for for what? For what? She's probably Americanized. You know, she got picked up them bad habits. When she came over here, or or if she's born and raised here, oh my goodness, yo, I don't got time for all that shit, that craziness. It's going to lead to something. It depends, like I said, man. Well, a lot of these, a lot of them women, they're not fun to be around. Apple Mac, they're not fun to be around. So, you know, I mean, most, I mean, let's just be honest. Most women are not fun to be around, in my opinion. I'm just saying. But that depends on the guy, I know, but. Most of these women, they don't have no, no personality. They don't have no personality. They don't have no charm or no charisma. So you have you, let, let's take the average, let's take the average Asian woman. Now that you brought that up by Apple Man, you take the average Asian woman. They look the part. They look the part. They might dress well. Hair done, nails, shoes dress, but once you start talking, it's like, y'all don't really got nothing to talk about. Showing off what ass? A lot of them don't got no ass. <laughs> yeah, they just look good. But it's like, y'all don't really got nothing to talk about. After the, after the sex, it's like, 
Okay, where we go from here? They were told the whole life. All they need to do is bring the game in. Well, I think they were told that all they have to do is just look a certain type of way. I don't even think it's really about the sex. In most cases, I think they were told that they have to uh, lame and crazy as hell. <laughs> That's Flash. <laughs> yeah, I just think that most of them, the women were raised to like they have to look a certain type. If they look, if they if they look a certain type of way, they should get a certain type of guy. I think that's what that's basically it. I don't think any. I don't think it really has anything to do with sex for them, really. Sex to them is more of like a a job, a chore. For most of them, not all, but for most. That's what I that could be wrong, but that's what I think. Well, man, what the. Well, the Filipinos and they were they're, they're a little different. Apple Mac, those those most of those women they're a little different. But but say women like Chinese women, Japanese women, uh, Indian women, uh. And uh, Cambodian women, I mean, they pretty much have. Now, Cambodian women are a little different, too. They're a little different, too. But, uh, I mean, there's some other countries I never heard of on on, 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 a, on continent Asia, too. But for the most part, for the most part, the game is, their game is to just look the part. That's it, really. There's no concept of dating. No, nah, they don't con you're right. So there's no concept of dating. And shit. It's like that in um it's like that in most of these countries, Apple Man. Why are you bullshitting? They don't really go dating and, and like I'm gonna use Japan, for example. African women are Disrespectful. <laughs> what? <laughs> Splash. <laughs> Why do you say the disrespect? African women from where? Splash. And then it just sucks, period. How y'all feel about Russian women? I don't really know much about Russian women, really. I know they have a, most of them have a heavy accent. I've met, I've met some of them here. Most of these women don't really have a concept of dating. They just meet up at a, at a at a spot with their friends and a bunch of guys together, and they congregate like 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 they do after work. I mean, so it's like that ain't necessarily dating, really. That's more like you just got a bunch of people that come to eat together and sit down at the table and. They'll congregate and eventually people start making connections somehow, but it's kind of like, it's kind of passive. My phone from the Congo said, she like white guys better because they're more intelligent and they want to build a family. This was on the first day. I was like, well, want to meet me then. Yeah, why don't you want to meet with you then? If that's the case, ain't no bitch just waiting. I don't do no bitch yeah. Yeah, that, um, that's coonery. That's all that is, Splash. That's just coonery. She's just a coon. <laughs> That's all. That's coon talk. 
<laughs> you like them a lot. That's slave talk. That's all that is, Splash. That ain't disrespectful. That's just slave talk. There's a lot of women out there that's like that. A lot, man. I've met Asian women that talk like that. From China, Japan, India. That's just some women just think like that. So I don't try and change their mind. Fuck them. Yeah. Let that bitch go. <laughs> I don't give a damn. And you know what, Splash? If she would have told me that shit at the table, I would have got up and left. After that. I would have got up and left. Yeah. Because you're just wasting your time. Most African cool. I'm gonna ask for our buckets by dirty women with this like a level of some paper. <laughs> well, you just gotta know, man. It's, that's just coon, slave talk. Yes, so it's like, it is what it is. I can usually spot them real quick, though. I can spot women that got that slave mentality. I spot them real quick. They give it off, too. You know, they give it off. They got that that yeah, they, got that, they give off that energy like, hey. You know, and some of them try to, uh, they might change their voice tone up. I'm like, what the hell? Why you talk like that? You know, I know y'all met somebody that's like this. They change their voice up. You know that ain't their voice. They, 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 they do everything. They walk different, talk different. I'm like, why you sound like that? Why you talk like that? It's crazy. The whole demeanor is kind of like. You know, yeah, white people voice. Their whole demeanor is kind of like, you know, they're trying to be somebody else besides themselves. So yeah, I mean, people like that, you can't trust them. Basically, that crime game. Brought the question: What if your heart and mind fell in love with a girl? Be a dude. The crime game. I don't see that shit anymore. So, some black girl would tell me, I only date white guys, and I'm not even trying to get with them. So, I guess they, Rayshon, I guess they're telling you that so you can back off. I guess. I mean, otherwise, why would they even tell you anything like that? Most black women in Asia are coons. Yeah, there's a lot of them in there. Like, I've met a lot of them in Japan that like that. That's like that, Splash. Yeah, so you know, it is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's weird. You know what's weird? You no, know what I always thought was weird is you have women that celebrate to be with certain guys. I always thought that was some weird. That's weird to me, man. The guys do it too, but not as much as women. I mean, they, you, they're celebrating to be with a guy. So they're putting the person on a pedestal like they're some damn trophy. I, I just thought that shit was weird. I mean, if you want to be with somebody, just go be with them. But why do you have to celebrate? What What's that all about? That's, that's the, I just always thought that was kind of weird to me, man. You know, I maybe that maybe that's just me though. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I just always thought that was kind of weird. I don't know. Yeah.
What do you think about MGTOW? What I think about MGTOW? Men going their own way. I don't really know what to think about them. I mean, if uh, they should have been going their own way a long time ago. They shouldn't have been trying to follow anybody. They shouldn't have been trying to follow the status quo. So that's what I think. Basically, shouldn't have been going your own way a long time ago. Shouldn't you should you shouldn't have to join a, a movement or join a group to somehow have your own way of thinking. You can be all your own you can be an individual of your own mind and socialize in public. You can learn and go out and socialize in public, read a book, look at a video or whatever. But you don't have to walk around in society and say, hey, I'm big tile. That's I just don't I just don't understand that. That, that, that. That's all I'm saying, you know. But should have been trying to go on your. You should have been trying to go your own way a long time ago. That's all I'm saying. What do you think about it, Rayshawn? Well, I should say, are you MGTOW? You might be a MGTOW. I don't know. Well, you probably not MGTOW. The MGTOW, they said they don't. They said they don't want women, right? Or they don't want to be with a woman, or whatever. Oh, yeah, they don't want to be with a woman. That's that's what I was. That's what I was told. So I'm like, well, what are you going to do? You get a prostitute or what? Or just become a a nun? Not a nun or a, a Buddhist? I don't know what what. What are you gonna do? Just give go Sullivan or what? I don't. What's the what's the alternative? That's all. That's the only question that I have. Are they just go without sex, or they don't want a woman, or they want to be homosexual, or what's the deal? I'm just curious. I'm not here. I'm not here to be the moral police. But I'm just curious, that's all. That's on the road. It might be, Apple Mac. It might be. Shit, I don't know. But the, I just don't think um, I just don't don't understand the uh, why would you want to just say fuck women ah but you're still getting a prostitute though they still some of these guys are buying and getting the prostitute escort so I'm like you still got to deal with women in some capacity unless you just want to be Sullivan or be gay or whatever. This don't make no sense. You know? For women to be... Uh, I don't know. There's some women that don't want nothing to be... There's some women don't want anything to do with a guy. So... You know, then you got some women just want to get what they want out of a guy, and once she's done with him, he can leave. So, you got men haters and you got women haters. Go figure.
Go figure. I did do the one of real Cosby Chase. What dude I want to build Cosby Chase? Cosme ain't winning too many cases these days. <laughs> what dude are you talking about? <laughs> that chick that looked like a dude. Oh, that chick, she dropped. She, she, uh, she left. She dropped him. If you're talking about the same woman I think you're talking about. She's a black woman, right? From like, she was on this case first, right? She left. They threatened, uh, she got death threats. If we talking about the same woman that was on his case, on the same case that he just lost, there was a woman that had the case first, but they she got death threats. That chick don't look like no dude, man. Apple Mac. Maybe we talking about a different woman, but oh, we talking about a different woman then. Okay. Yeah, but the first chick that was on his case, she got death threats. She got scared. That dude looking shit is the one who sued. Oh, it was a couple of them. You talking about the women that's oh the, the women that sued. It was a couple of them women that looked like dudes. I mean, these aren't the most attractive looking women in the world. No doubt about it. You know. There's a bunch of them women, man. <laughs> this shit was like a circus. <laughs> And they were crying and shit. I'm like, oh boy. Come on, man. This is just, this is a debacle. They're not even good actors and actresses, man. You know. A lot of these women are dope fiends. Drug addicts. I'm like, oh. God, you know, <laughs> welcome to America. This is what we got to deal with out here, guys, when we're out and about. This is what we got to deal with. I need to be able to have time to fucking wife. I don't know. That's a good question. Man, you know, Bill didn't fuck all them women, man. There's no way in hell. You gotta think about it. Bill in what, 60s and 70s and 80s? He's by himself in a room with a white woman? A black? Think about this shit. Most, most black dudes today, most black dudes today, can't just walk outside and go down to the local bar or go down to the, some club downtown Atlanta and bag a white and bag a white chick. Most black dudes can't do that today. So you know they couldn't do it in the 60s and 70s and 80s. Think about it. Yeah, she's a very she's a nice looking woman. She is. So, so think about this. In the 60s and 70s, you got a black man 
gonna be in a room with a white woman, just her and him, and no and no nobody else. In the sixties and seventies, my God, come on! You know this some bullshit. Everybody know that's some bullshit. <laughs> Anybody with a brain and know anything about history in this country know that's some bullshit. But if you're a young person, then you might not know no better. If you're 20 in the 20s or something like that and don't know history. I mean, at one point in this country, if you're caught dead looking at a white woman, you could be killed, lynch. In that time, in the sixties and seventies, that's when motherfuckers were being lynched in this country, <laughs> like crazy. But they still be lynched in this country. <laughs> but in the fifties, sixties, and seventies, shit. What the hell are they gonna fuck at? At Hugh Hefner's house. That's the only safe place. <laughs> That's the only safe place. So if you had who if you had Hugh Hefner's house, you don't gotta rape no woman. The girls come over the Hugh Hefner's house to fuck. A lot of them child teen stars, they turned them out, man. They got turned out early. Motherfucker put the motherfuckers on drugs and shit. And a lot of them get molested. Molested, sexually assaulted, all kind of shit, man. They fucked them up, man. Had them cracked out and all kind of shit. A lot of them, a lot of their parents, it's, it's the parents' fault in most cases. So the parents usually let the damn kids, let these people take the kids. Yes, that advantage. Yeah, a lot of the time the parents pimp the damn kids out. In most cases, sad but true. Nobody talks about that shit. Okay, what are look? Let's take a look at R. Kelly. What R. Kelly's doing? That shit been going on. The the the, the parents are dropping the kids off to R. Kelly's house and leaving there, and pick them up later. Stay there the whole weekend. They drop them off Friday and pick them up Sunday. And, they don't, and the parents don't know what the hell going on. They be thinking, oh, they're working on the music. They're in the studio. Studio in his house. Oh, they just in the studio creating music. Shit. They're creating a little bit more of the music in that motherfucker. You know? So that, this shit been going on. Your parents pimp pimp their daughters out, pimp their little boys out. This shit been going on, man. Nah, I never saw the tape. Nah, I never saw the tape. But I mean, R, somebody like this, R. Kelly ain't, ain't got shit on um, Weinstein. Ain't got shit on Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein runs circles around R. Kelly. <laughs> shit. <laughs> and you know what? He ain't, and he ain't going to jail either. He ain't never going to jail. But everybody else been to jail. God damn.
That's what it is. He ain't never going to jail. You know why? Because he got the power to stay out of that motherfucker. And they'll pay off as many people as it takes for him to stay out of that motherfucker. Not only will they pay people off, they'll threaten motherfuckers if they have to. That's how vicious a lot of these people are out here. And that's how the real world works. Power, money, influence. That's right. Be connected. No doubt about it. That's why he ain't going to jail. People can talk all they want. These women can talk all day long. Talk until the wheel fall off. He's still in his house, laying down in his bed. With a bitch on the side. (laughs) Slobbing on his knob. Like corn on a cob. And that's what it is. That's how this, that's how the world really works. It's not about no damn good morals out here. Nobody's doing that shit. Good morals. You know, do the right thing. I don't see a lot of people doing that shit. That's how I know nothing uh, happened to Trump. If something was going to happen to Trump, it would probably would have happened already. I don't know why he visited Meek Mill in jail. I have no idea. I guess they made a deal. I guess they made a deal with uh, Meek Mill. I guess he made a deal with Meek Mill. I don't know. He probably made a deal with Meek Mill and, and that's how he got out of jail. More than likely. Some deal was made. I don't know what I don't know what it could be about, really. You got the second dick. You seem like a lot of white girls are obsessed with being big black. Oh, they've been like that, Rayshawn. Where you been? They've been like that. They've been like that a long time ago. They've been like that. (laughs) They just didn't know how to get it. (laughs) Shit. There wasn't no plastic surgery back then. If there was, people couldn't afford it or didn't have access to it. Now you see white women, they're in the gym working it out. They're working the thighs out, working the butt out. And the ones that don't want to work it out, they'll go get the surgery if they can pay for it. Meet in that secret circle. What's the name of the secret circle? (laughs) If If he was in the secret circle, he wouldn't have been in jail. Maybe he in the secret circle now. I don't know. You know? Well, over nine. <clears throat> well, he's in jail. He was in jail. People in the Illuminati don't, don't go to jail. Man, now he now he is. Really. Okay, we'll see. So that means that if he's in the circle. 
he's not going to going to ever go back to jail again. That's fair to say, right? That's fair to say. If you're in the if you're in the circle, you're in the club now. That means that you should not ever go back in jail again. That's fair to say. I think that's a fair assessment, right? I would think, you know, that makes practical sense, logical sense. People can go to jail if they're in the club if you disobey their orders. Man, well, why would they disobey the orders? There's this theory that says white folks, black folks, because they want to be black. And there's a lot of data to black, black data. Well, Apple Mac, all you gotta do is look around. Look at look at white women. White women want black women features. Black women want white women features. So yeah, you know, all you gotta do is take a look around. You don't even have to. You ain't got to figure this shit out. Just look, open your eyes long enough and look and stare. You'd be like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. You're about to start doing some gray, gay shit now, watch. Gay shit like what? You're about to start cooning, doing rituals that they don't want to do. Kim. Kim who? <clears throat> Kim Kardashian? The whole get up thing. Uh, what about the get up thing? Everyone? The get up movie, that was more like a strategic recruiting. That's more like I looked at the Get Out movie, man, like, that's more than like, uh, that's how they recruit, recruit men and bring them in the family. That's how I looked at the bigger, the bigger picture of that shit. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, that's basically, it's, they recruit people, bring them in the family, use them up, and bam! Once they get done with them, you got you're useless. You got to go. That's like uh, uh, just a recruiting formula, a strategic recruiting formula. That's all it is. That's how I see it. If you strip all the other bullshit, the dating, the Spending time with each other and traveling and getting dressed, and getting on the red carpet. You strip all that shit away and just look at it for what it is. They're just recruiting people. That's all they're doing. They bring you in, wine you, dine you, talk, treat you nice, give you some sex if you want some, get you high, get you drunk. That's basically it. Whatever you bring to the table, you're a celebrity, you know people, you're resourceful, you you got money, you're just an asset, a resource. That's it. <clears throat> yeah, they did one body. Yeah. There you go. But the whole thing, Apple Mac, is just, but they got to bring you in first. Yeah, they was. But they still got to bring you in for it. They still got to recruit people. That's the whole thing. That's my whole 
before they even get to the body parts, they got to find a certain type of man, certain type of woman. And they suck you in and try to get as much as they can get out of your ass. That's basically how, you know, that's what it is. I don't know what, I don't know what's up with Kanye. Yeah, that's the whole, that's the whole, though, they use the the daughters as bait. It works every time, works like a charm. <laughs> it works like a charm. I mean, it works like a charm 99% of the time. Just like cuckolding. Uh, no, that's a little different from cuckolding. At least cuck holding, you know the situation. You're not like in the dark. You know? I mean, like, they're just manipulating people, basically, and get out. And even with a the Kardashian, they're just manipulating people. That's all they're doing. This ain't really got that. At least cuck holding, you know what's really going on. Like Bill Cosby. What about Bill Cosby? Bill Cosby wasn't fucking with white women like that. Cut it out, man. You think the Jello put man was fucking with white women like that? Let's be honest. Jello put man, Jello put and pop. It was, of course, it was a setup. Think, think the Jello Pudding Man really got charm and charisma like that? Kanye wanted to be with Kim. He chased her down. He said it. Yeah, Jello Pudding Man. You think Jello Pudding Man got charm and charisma like that? You think you think Tiger Woods got charm and charisma like that? That's it. Come on, let's stop playing games. These guys ain't got it like that. Jello Pudding Man and and Tiger Woods. He don't even know who he is, and he don't even know he got an identity crisis. Bill has all the black ass he can handle. Only one black chick came out against him. Well, if it was, what if? Well, if it was just black women, the shit would have never went anywhere. It would never would have went anywhere, Apple Mac. Nobody would, no one would have paid attention to it if it, if it was just black women. I ain't got no damn charm. No, I ain't got no charm. I mean, if 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 look, if there were fifty four black women claiming that Cosby raped them, no one would have cared in this country. Let's be honest. They don't give a damn about no women in this country. They don't give a damn. R. Kelly's next for what? I gotta be rolling with the jello pudding. Tiger Square on Camargo.
<clears throat> so it's after 12. I'm about to go take my ass to bed. All right, fellas. It's been real. You know, give me a thumbs up. Like the video. Hit that like button, baby. Like, like, like. Um, share this video. Check out my Patreon. And check out my website, ChooseYourRelationships.com. Hey, you know what's interesting. Yeah, what's interesting? Tell me something good. Thank your mom Asian, but he don't eat Asian. Uh, no, I'm I, I'm not uh I'm not really surprised about that. I'm not really surprised about that, Apple Mac. Nah, not really. You gotta think about it. He he's a golfer. He's around mostly white people anyway. But that's he's been exposed to that environment. Plus, he's he got hooked up with these women. So that's just what it is. They tried to go after R. Kelly with rape charges already. Sexual assault charges. But R. Kelly don't fuck with white women. So it's it's never going to work. It's not going to stick like that. They don't care about women in this country. And they really don't care about black women in this country. So nobody really cares. It's not going to be an uproar. No one's going to be... They're not going to say very much. About if you remember the R. Kelly case, you didn't hear a lot of uproar on television. Anybody talking about it? It wasn't on CNN, Fox, and all these other networks. It wasn't buzzing like that. Nobody, nobody was really talking about it. So, who cares what R. Kelly does? Nobody cares. Look, most people. A lot of people don't even know who R. Kelly is. Think about that. A lot of people don't know who R. Kelly is. So it's like... That's just what it is. So all right, guys, I'm out. Be easy.